Yeah, so my name is David Carter. I'm the CEO of Wiser. Uh, excited to be here with you guys today. Uh, how's the show going so far? You guys enjoying it? Uh, it's good. So I want to just take a poll here. How many people here know what S3 storage is? Raise your hands. Okay, good. That's what I, that's what I thought. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about storage, which is a really big need for people, anybody in media, entertainment, broadcasting. It's a huge cost, and it's something that's going to be coming up and becoming even larger. And we're going to be talking about how the, that whole disruption is coming in storage, and it's going to be done utilizing AI and machine learning. So... So first, let's talk a little bit about who we are. So Wiser, we are disrupting the video analytics market, leveraging AI. We have a platform that will allow people to be able to utilize AI and being able to have more efficient storage and utilization of their data. We have 20 patents uh, in process. We have some great partners that you can see. Uh, Cloudian, you know, premier company. Uh, that we love working with, and we'll talk a lot about how they leverage AI and what they're doing. And then uh, our marquee customers, the 49ers, it's the one everybody thinks is so cool, you know, uh, and uh, great company uh, and uh, one that we uh, love working with. So uh, has anybody here heard of Hal Varian? He's a, he's a chief economist at Google. So he was talking about you know, between the dawn of civilization until 2003, we only had created five exabytes of information, and now we're creating that much information in only two days, okay? And by 2020, which is you know, a couple years away, that is going to be going up 50 times. So you can imagine that we, we have this tidal wave of data that's coming at us. And how are we handling it? Okay, well, what do people do now? Well, they go through and they have people put metadata with it, they'll look at a video, they'll go, okay, we need to catalog this, they'll type in the information for it, and, you know, they'll uh, put it in this certain place and they'll say, oh, the retention policy, policy is this. Um, most of the time, this data is all siloed, meaning it's in a particular location and they can't share it with other people in other locations uh, without, you know, going through and sharing, you know, doing something through email. And so it's really hard to be able to utilize your data and maximize it. And what's really bad about it is that most of this data is unstructured, which makes it really hard to be able to manage. And um, this is a crazy figure too. Did you know there's one data center for every 100 people? And the, that market is growing huge. Just for, for, the store, for data centers that utilize storage uh, uh, shipping containers, you know the shipping containers? They're all moving to these shipping containers. 2 billion to 12 billion in two years, okay? Because they get these storage, you know, these shipping containers, and they put everything in, bring them up to Norway, where they get cheap power and it's cold. So it's this market is really exploding. So how do we solve this problem? And, and this is a big problem. So what we do is we use artificial intelligence. And a lot of people wonder what AI is. We kind of know, and you know, there's like machine learning. What is machine learning? Like, we have arguments about this all the time. But basically, AI comes down to someone having some a thought like a person would. And one of the hardest things to be able to figure out is what you see. As human beings, it's really hard. Uh, it's it's a really unique concept for us to be able to perceive things. Um, and, you know, when you go through the way people would do catalogs of this stuff is they would say, they would use rules. They would say, well, something is over four feet high and it's this wide, then it's a person, right? But that doesn't work when a person's curled up like this and it just doesn't work. And so with AI, what you can do is you can train it and you can show it this person. So and then here's another person and here's another person. And it draws, instead of three persons, it figures out hundreds of different permeations of those people inside that. And that's why data is so important to be able to teach or train. So what happens? Well, with this AI, you could go through and you can look at the video and, and or a picture and you can automatically tag it. So you can say, 
this was, uh, you know, a, let's say it was a video that was for security. This was an in injury. There was an intruder there. Um, and then in addition, um, with, with the Cloudian system, you can allow people to store this data on-prem or you can federate it so that uh, in the case of like for our company, uh, every, a lot of people use Amazon's S3, right? And so until you start getting their bills and then you're like going, oh my gosh, this is expensive. And so, uh, and so people start trying to figure out ways to, to lower their costs. And then there are a lot of companies that have privacy concerns. They can't have their data out in the cloud. And this is where Cloudio becomes really strong to help you leverage that to be able to do that. And so with S3, we can take things like video files and then we can assign all these metadata tags to that and allow that to be uh, associated with that file. So let's talk about the media entertainment uh, uh, application. We've talked to studios where they, ha they have a lot of video and they want it to go through, recognize the actor, what's the scene background, and so if they want to go through and search on it and find it quickly, how do they do that? Well, manually they could write this in, they could have pay someone to do that, that's what they do, most all of them, but with AI you can do this all automatically. And then you can do advanced searches on it with all the information. And what happens with that S3 is that when this video is stored, it stores this metadata with that, that video. And that metadata is the, are these tags and this information that allows it to become accessible. And inside that metadata too, you can put things like retention policies. You can put things like where it should be, where it should reside at different times. And so that data becomes intelligent. And so that's why it's taken, taken the data world by storm. So the problem gets even more complex because like one of the groups we're working with, Madison Square Gardens, everybody knows Madison Square Gardens, and you go in and you think, oh, it's just Madison Square Gardens. Well, no, they, they have a bunch of theaters. They have a lot of different facilities. And, you know, you, uh, you look at the 49ers, they have offices off-site, you know, and so they don't want to have a different system for every location. They want to be able to work at... Hey, they have one thing, you know, maybe a camera at one location that's remote, uh, and then they want to be able to use, you know, that same system here that we, for the stadium, right? And so this is a really complex problem. Um, uh, it's called federation and being able to go span across all these systems. And with Cloudian system, this will allow you to do this, and it will allow the data to move itself automatically and intelligently and what it does is it allows you to save a lot of money because, for example, then we for video analytics, for security, we go through, we look through, is there a person in this hallway? If there's not a person in the hallway, you don't need to keep that data. You know, we can throw that out. So, so we record what's important and therefore that compresses the amount of data so it makes it much more efficient besides giving you the ability to search that info. So another thing too, this is something if you haven't heard of, is it's the edge eating the cloud. Uh, how many people here are familiar with edge compute, edge computing? So we we stumbled on it by accident actually. We so we we thought we'd see, be able to see if our video analytics would work on a Raspberry Pi about a year and a half ago, and uh, we figured we had, we had six cameras on it, and then we got it working, and then we started showing people, and then nobody wanted the cloud product. <laughs> You know, it was, it was hard to, and then we found out that there was this huge movement to edge analytics. And then this is all being propelled by 5G. So 5G, they have a whole in, uh, architecture built out because the base stations of 5G have to be so close together that not one, uh, one like Verizon or AT&T can own all of them. So they have to cooperate with a common architecture. And so this system with Cloudian will allow you to fit into that and work into that system and leverage the, what is being built out all across America. And so Cloudian system with our system can scale from just a simple, small little box sitting out on the edge like uh, Intel Nuke we have run, but then it will work in conjunction with Cloudian's uh, servers on the back end. So, uh, so anyway, I... Uh, I want to thank you so much for attending. Uh, if anybody has any questions.